Okay, I want to say hi again everybody, it's only me Wushu Richard and in today's video I want to talk to you about the art of fighting, okay, the art of fighting martial arts. Um, not really the art, but really like the whole concept of fighting and martial arts in general. Let me take my shades off, I'll just keep this hat on for today. Uh, please excuse me for not wearing a top, I'm just so goddamn hot. Don't take that out of context, okay? But I'm just tropically sweating. I've got the air conditioner, air conditioner on here. We're in far south China, as I say, and it's a very, it's a hot place to be. But anyway, let me talk about the art of uh, fighting, okay? Or let's say the, the whole concept of fighting and what it is actually about. First of all, I'm talking about fighting not um, sport fighting which is like playtime and they throw money in for the kids when people just beat blood out of each other's head and, and it's uh, playtime and enter entertainment right <laughs> I've got to say it like it is but I'm talking about real fighting in general whether it okay whether it be ring fighting sport fighting cage fighting underground street fighting uh, whatever Mortal Kombat that <coughs> No, I mean real fighting. Whether it's for money, whether it's for pride, whether it's for um, for self-defensive combat, whether you're a, a, a soldier in battle and you have to fight, let's just say with any, any kinds of weapons. But I'm just saying, like, let's say bare hands, uh, just um, just for the point here. Uh, it could be uh, police tactics. It could be could be anyone you, you could be a mother you could be a grandmother you could be anybody trying to protect your home you could be someone who's attacked on the street you could just be two guys at work about to go at it because you've got so much pressure and hate each other and you want to fight it could be uh, you could be a trained martial artist someone who's practiced martial arts and you may be jumped on or mugged on the street or whatever or attacked you may be a woman who's about to be raped it could be anything and you have to fight to defend yourself let's say right real fighting real combat this is no fucking bullshit let's get it on smack <laughs> well you know but what I'm trying to say the main point is I want to say here is fighting what is it how, how do you win a fight how do you end it quickly? How do you make? I'm saying, let's just say bare hands. Now, of course, you could be crazy. You could have a gun. You could have two guns. You could have a, a big Rambo knife. It doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, if you've got bare hands and you're going to fight, how do you put the mother motherfucker? Excuse, excuse my language. How do you put the guy out? The guy or the girl? The person who's trying to take you out. They may be more crazy. They may want to kill you. How? Okay, what is the? What are you trying to do? You're trying to stop violence. If you've got any sense in you, you'll understand that violence has no mind, and fear is the only darkness. And all fighting is wrong. And the only reason we should fight is the same reason that we should run away. You know, that's why they say coward. You're a coward when you fight anyway. But it's like, yeah, but this, you know, if you if you enjoy it and you're a negative person. But the thing is, I'm saying. I don't want to say if you're brave or smart, it depends how you look at this, but if you fight, it's the same reason as you run away, it's like you want to prevent more violence, you want to prevent more danger, more harm, you want to prevent that, in other words, you don't want to end up, you don't want to get hurt or killed, you don't want the person to themselves to harm themselves, or definitely harm anybody else around you, you don't want that to happen. So, such. so that's why you fight, because there's no other alternative, and it's the last answer, right? <clears throat> it's not even an answer, really, but, you know, heck, try and tell that to the world. I mean, we put human beings in cages and prisons, you know, and what do you do, I guess, you know? <laughs> what do you do? You know, they've got places in the world where they put people to death with the death sentence. They've got, you know, or death, uh, you know, death row, and you've got... People doing life in prison. You got people doing multiple lives in prison, but they, some of them are just not living. Living, and some of them are. They're living more of a happy, exciting life than they would be on the outside. The world is crazy. 
and there's some people that are just out of their minds in this world in general <coughs> and um and they put people in prison and they put people in the firing line and uh, there's people killing people all over the world and there's people trying to kill themselves too it ain't gonna make a difference they're not gonna be around to see the change if they kill themselves the best way to get rid of negativity is to just fucking stop it, you know. The best way to fill the world with peace is, guess what? Fill the world with peace, that's right. If you want to clean that window, get scrubbing, you know. Um, that's basically the, the way it is, you know. Um, yeah, if you keep moaning about it all day, it's not going to get done. And if you don't want to live in a dirty house, don't shit in it. And don't throw stones in a glass house, they say. But going back to what I was saying, though. Okay, here's the point, okay, here's the point, fighting. How do you then, with the way of fighting, if you're not going to avoid, if you're not, if there's no way to run away, duck, dodge, avoid, teleport, heck, for fuck's sake, beam me up, Scotty, right, whatever. How are you going to win the fight? How are you going to win any fight, whether it's in a ring or on the street, how are you going to win a fight? you got to strike, right, when you strike. Uh, unless the guy is just drunk and he swings for you when he doesn't realize he's standing about a few meters away and um, he just falls off the top of a building or into into Jaws' mouth or whatever. But I'm saying, you know, <clears throat> what the fuck, you know, how are you going to win a fight? You know, it's with your strikes, right? Punches, kicks, whatever it's going to be. Now, you don't want, you don't, you don't want to be there fighting. You're forced to it, let's say, or you feel that's the only way, you know, using the techniques you know, because you just, you just so happen, it just so happens that not everyone is an expert of, let's say, Aikido, or Hapkido, or Jiu Jitsu. So you may not be good at grappling and wrestling the guy down and restraining him in an arm lock or whatever, and you may not have that chance, but you do know some boxing. Now maybe maybe you have trained some Aikido, but you're still better at your boxing. So what are you going to do? You're going to try and use something that you've got less ability in, or or are you going to use your abilities that you're better at that's going to save you that save the day? You know what I mean? Sometimes you're going to have to be smart. So martial arts is teaching you to be smart, not try and put on a show or think about ego or worry about the execution of the technique as Bruce Lee used to say but if you've got a technique there you don't want to harm people but for the for the greater good and for the peace of it you do strike let's say for example and you punch and kick or whatever and you you take that guy out <clears throat> hopefully you don't you, you don't want to do so much harm to him but rather you know rather than worse happening you try to prevent that and you have to fight let's say to protect yourself or others and life in lives in general and you're trying to work it out and there's no chance of reasoning or anything what are you going to do okay you strike you strike hard and what do you do you don't strike like a pussy and uh, even if you you know no offense but you're gonna you, you're gonna hit you're gonna have to fucking that one shot hopefully is going to end the fight if not he's going to come back swinging around you may not have another chance and before you know it you're the one in intensive care it's easy to talk about right especially a skinny boy like me skinny guy behind the camera you know, I'm not the one looking for trouble in the world, but I'm just saying that it, sometimes it comes to us, and no matter who you are, in whatever situation, you might need to fight and protect yourself. Now, if you need to strike with your hands or your feet, <clears throat> you're going to need to strike hard, and hopefully that, that hit you do is enough to stop the guy. It doesn't matter if you punch him in the face, if you um, punch him in the arm, whatever, hell, kick, kick him in the gut or kick him in the nuts, but whatever it is, that is you want it to be enough of a pain that is going to stop the fight as in it's going to put him him or her that you know the the attacker you're going to put them in such discomfort that you know that they're not going to be able to focus to attack you any further and you can run away or you can um, you know deal with the situation much easier um, so anyway you strike hard okay you strike hard effective strike hard what you want to have is an invincible blow wow that sounds cool yeah an invincible blow okay um, an invincible strike meaning all of all of your strikes excuse me all of your strikes should be invincible by that i mean um 
Maybe you're wondering, what do I mean now? A strike being invincible? Don't you mean a human being, a person being invincible, like nothing can hurt, harm them? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but nobody's invincible. But what you do want is an invincible strike. What this means is a strike that will not fail. So this is just my take on it, just giving you another example here, the figure of speech, but you strike in such a way that that strike is going to do some damage, it's going to hurt. And we don't want to hurt people, we don't want to damage people, but just for the reason of fighting, and there must be a just cause, so just, that, you know, you've made a decision, and that's it, baby, you've better kill me before. You know, like Bruce Lee said, you've made a decision, and you go straight in like a lightning bolt. The lightning bolt doesn't stop a millimetre away from your face and say, oops, I'm going to just go back up into the cloud. It's going to go in, and it's going to, it's going to toast that shit. So basically, toasty, Mortal Kombat. Again, you know, whatever. If I would say, you know, <laughs> you know, noob cyber. I'm just saying, you know, noob, I'm not going to do it now. But, but you know, it's going to go in. So when you strike with that fist, okay, or that foot, you know, or elbow or knee, or whatever it is, you're going to invincibly do it. It means when you do it, there's no repercussions. There's no comeback. The opponent's not going to just get pissed off and come back and do you in. No, they might do. But your intention behind every hit is to be the last one, to take this motherfucking bitch out. Excuse my language. We love all people, right? He's the one, one punch man. No, this is the real deal stuff. I'm just saying, okay? I've never seen one punch man. I don't know anything about that show, but I'm just saying, you go in and strike and hit him. So much pain or so much, it's going to do much, so much that it's going to stop this bastard, you know, physically, mentally, whatever, it's just going to stop him. And you're ready on guard for that next one, just in case you need another blow. Once you get the first one in, go for more. Even if it's just a distraction or such a shock to the system that you can get that next one in. Now, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person who believes in putting a sucker on the floor and then kicking seven barrels of bollocking cunt fuck out of the people. But unless they're, unless they're a right bastard and they're, and they're intent on eating you alive like a zombie or, oh, you know, and they've just, and they've just, um, and they've just given you a, um, and they've just bitten you with their vampire disease or whatever it is. And I'm just saying, you know, you, unless there's a, you know, you should always try and refrain from violence, but a just cause behind that strike. Now, when you strike, if you do need to go in for another combo, whether it's boxing or the Wing Chun concept, like a chain punch, you're going to go in and uh, make sure that the attacker is subdued right it's the same as a wild tiger or a wild wolf coming after someone maybe the the guys come in there's a people watching someone's in danger and someone comes with a tranquilizer gun and they shoot the tranquilizer and the wolf's still coming well you may you may need to fire another round fuck about saving money your lives are more important right <laughs> fuck about your name brand oh shit everybody knows our tranquilizers are not good enough that's not about that if you need to fire two shots, you're going to need to do what you need to do for the greater good. The hero will stop flapping their mouth and trying to fucking advertise, and they'll actually do some good, put themselves out. You know, survival depends on every individual that makes up all of us. You know, humanity and what it means to be human. You know, there's a human behind every. You know, whatever morality you're trying to make up. You know what I mean? So let's be human. Now let's say what I'm saying though, you know, because some wolves stick together better than human beings, sadly. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not even violent, they're just, you know, you should work the way that nature makes us function. You know? I don't know, you've got the ocean, you've got the sea. But let's go back to what I'm saying, stars and the moon, the sun and the seasons. Let's get back to nature now. What I'm saying is in the strike, when you're going to hit and strike, the first thing you want is an invincible strike, meaning when you hit the hit the motherfucker, he or her is not going to come back and do you in and make you look like more ugly than the next door's fucking mummy with its face bashed in, okay? You're going to make sure you don't end up looking like a corpse from the set of the creep show. Because I'm telling you now, you find all kinds of shit in them boxes they're sending people these days. They just come with around it. In an invincible strike that's going to do the job. You don't want to do something that's half a job. You know, there's no point. There's no point in a. There's no point in doing something that's fake. You know, doing a strike that's no good, and then they turn around and say, "Excuse me, this is a fake ID here. 
bang. You give them fake money and it's just obviously not even money, it's just torn up pieces of pieces of cornflake box and you give that to them and they say, this is not money, you know, this is not going to do you any good. So when you do it, you do the real deal. You don't start cutting away at an oak tree with a with a with a plastic baby's um, knife and knife, you know, you you have a big metal razor sharp axe chainsaw or Darth Vader's lightsaber and that's how you do it now whatever I'm saying we'll go back to the point okay so invincible is one word but now how do you win fights the only way you win a fight and I'm talking about get it done and win win the fight is with an invincible blow now, don't blow yourself off the wrong way front to back what I'm trying or any by anyone but an invincible strike a strike that does the job and is so effective it does damage it it just takes them out the opponent out okay first strike so you don't even have you don't even need to waste more time and energy fighting and if you do have an ego and there's no way of clearing that up which I don't believe but if you do have an ego then at least you'll look more cool right after you knock the, the sucker right the fuck out flat on the fucking on the sidewalk okay for, for, for fucking with you and, and, and the ones you love but you know, you know, you just carry on walking down the road with that bag of chips, you know, and um, have some good time tonight with the one you love. But basically, going back, back to what I'm saying, okay? If you see a guy in a Michael Myers mask, turn the lights off, close the curtains, and arm yourself with a shotgun and a, and a, and a, and a toothpick. Just kidding, now. But basically, I'm, I'm just kidding with that, by the way. Do lock the doors and call the police, okay? Um, you know, um, yeah, so, you know, have you ever been in a fight? Have you ever, have you ever had to defend yourself, you know? There's two factors. There's two factors to fighting, and I'll cover this again when I can. One is the invincible blow, and the invincible strike, which means it does the job. You just get it in. The first one, the, the one who's fastest, accurate, you just get it in, do the shot. And if you need to follow up and do more, then you have to, you have to, if you need to. The second thing, which I believe is actually the first thing, so we'll flip those around, and back in the day, this used to mean fuck off in the UK, so I'm very sorry about that, okay? Nowadays, I see people like this every day, yeah, when they're taking photo, photos, but in the UK, when you say one finger, like fuck off, yeah, excuse my language, F off, before we used to have two fingers, and that also meant fuck off, up yours. So I'm very, I'm very sorry uh, if you took that the wrong way, okay? But this is peace, this is also victory. And apparently this is the devil's horns or the rock when they do that, but I don't understand. At the end of the day, we're not we're not banging gang signs and stuff here. I'm just, I'm just mucking around, okay? Um, it's almost like this one back in the day when they used to put their hands together like this. And you put your middle finger inside. And you, can, you say, open up that and you, and you see a willy. That is so fucking disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why people do that, okay? You know, if there's nothing in there, it's obviously a fanny, but let's go back to what I'm saying, though. You know, um, so basically, <laughs> you know, that base, basically, you know, um, when it comes to um, the strike, right, that's the thing, the first fact, right, in fighting, get the strike, get it hard, and, and bang them out, okay? As I say, this is a, a combat-related video. This is not talking about any pervert, perverted topics. So um, get it in, get it in hard, and bang them out. You know, either way. But what I'm trying to say is now, okay, basically, is the second, the second thing. If we flip around, as I say, which should be the first factor is invisibility. So if you're invincible, it, so if you are invisible, you will be invincible anyway okay because the opponent can't see you coming now i don't care what people say and i've said this before a lot of people talk about things like you know a lot of people do talk about cheap shots oh that was a cheap shot you know he he didn't face the guy face on he hit the guy when he wasn't looking or he he won the fight by um, you know cheating he, you know the guy wasn't ready the guy wasn't looking he used a trick shot a cheap shot well don't forget there are no rules on the streets and all fighting is ignorance anyway and it's uh, it's all cheap you know you're being a you're being a punk ass motherfucker anyway you should try and find peace in the world but if you need to defend yourself from idiots and you know you're, whatever ways you can as we said 
But the thing is, you know, this idea of there being a cheap shot, like some shots are not, I mean, who's more of a, what do you call it, who's more of a stupid fighter? You say, well, the attacker is the stupid one. The one who's defending themselves is obviously not stupid. But you say, well, no, hang on. The, they're both stupid, but you said the one who's defending themselves, he's using cheap shots and he's winning. Are you going to call that stupid? Are you going to say that's cowardly? That's foolish? The guy just saved his own life. He saved somebody else's life too. Or We're, we're not doing an exhibition. Here. This is not a show. It's not supposed to be some kind of sport fighting the guy has just walked out from the grocery store or from the from the pharmacy he's got some medicine for his loved ones back home or whatever or from the hospital he's just on his way to lay some flowers down for a, a, a deceased loved one in in the graveyard cemetery and um the, the man or the woman's just walking down the street maybe to go to the hospital They're, maybe the wife's giving birth or whatever or home after work and they're jumped on. The guy's about to be mugged, attacked, or whatever, or, or maybe a young girl, or about to be raped. Raped, maybe. Are you telling me there's room for this kind of judgment and complexity of like, oh, what's a cheap shot? What's an acceptable way to fight? Brave, like a man, or bravery, like a, you know, righteous. That's, that's just so ridiculous. Someone's going to kill you, beat the shit out of you, and maybe sell your carcass off after they chop it up and skin you and, and turn you into a, a, pair of, a pair of cheap crocodile boots after painting your skin a certain uh, camouflage. Whatever, okay, you know. That people are going to do whatever they will with you, um, sell you into prostitution, torture you, take you back, you uh, extort you, ransom for whatever, beat you up, or just murder you for the fun of it. Or just rob you of your phone after stabbing you, stabbing you vitally, uh, critically, or shoot you. Are you are you telling me you're going to be big? You're going to have such an ego, you're going to have such a of a worry inside you that oh, I'm I'm using a cheap shot. That's cowardly. In other people's eyes, don't forget. Who the fuck's watching? Do you really care what these cheap people think? That's a cheap attitude to think about that. Like you've got to fight some honourable way. The arsehole who's dealing with you is not being honourable, they're not being humble. You've got to protect yourself. So the way I see it, it's smart. You're more smart, you're less foolish and you're more smart to fight in a way, in a tactic, and a strategy that the opponent will not be able to figure out. So don't. So when you've got MMA fighters talking about the fight game and all this or any kind of army tactics or whatever, any combat, all fighting, they say all warfare is based on imagination. Was it, um, so all warfare is based on imagination and deception, right? So you're deceiving the opponent. When you've got two fighters like Manny Pacquiao and um, Floyd Mayweather, let's say two boxers, or it could be anyone, I don't care, you could say Conor McGregor, Anderson Silva, whatever, any two fighters, okay, fighting each other in the ring. Or on the street, you always see that they're throwing fake jabs, fake shots, and trying to trick the opponent. They're trying to find a way that's going to deal with the opponent. Football. There's a there's a football World Cup going on right now, or there has been, right? 2018 World Cup. I've not seen any of it. I hear, I hear England are doing pretty good though, but I'm not into football. But I'm just saying, whatever. I know it's coming home and all that. But you know, um, you know. Um, the way to winning is just straightforward, no messing around. If your mind's what thinking about other things and what other what other people think or what's what's a cheap shot or what that, you you might you're trying to uh, be Mister Mister Expensive. Were you trying to come across as come across as someone who's you can wear? What are you gonna, are you gonna do? Dress in a nice fancy suit in the mirror before you get, before you get into the scrap? It's just ridiculous. You've got to save your life. It's not about reputation and image. This is real life here. So, if you need to protect yourself and fight and defend yourself, it's invisibility and invincibility. So, or, or invincibility, uh, yeah, invisibility and invincibility. Most times, if you get, if you're invin, if you are invisible, that means if the opponent can't see you, doesn't know you're there, basically, you can't. 
it's like you're standing right in front of him, he can't work out your strategy, he does not know what you're going to do, and if you're in a fighting situation, of course, then it's hard because you're in a fight, but <clears throat> and he knows you're fighting, but I'm saying, you want to work that strategy where you're doing all kinds of fake shots, you know, and things where the opponent can't see, so you can work around. The opponent, let's say Manny Pacquiao in the ring or anybody, okay, Floyd Mayweather, they're setting up the opponent, they're doing shots, they're going to go to this side hit, the guy's going to go that way, he's going to faint to the right and do that body shot where the guy didn't see it. Okay, so in all fighting, in warfare, you're always using ta tactics, even in that split second, you're doing certain things to set the opponent up. It's like you are, when you're playing chess or whatever, you're always setting them up. So by setting the opponent up, you are never actually being honest. You're, you're always, you are always doing cheap shots, if you want to say that. Because <laughs> it's the way to win, by being invin invisible. You don't say to the opponent, you know, here I am, okay, I'm, I'm going to punch you in the face now. Um, get ready, okay? Put your hands up, and you know, because if you tell the guy, then he's probably going to move out of the way. Or he's going to guard against it. And what are you going to do? Are you going to just uh, stand there and take punches to the face all day too? You know, it's just ridiculous. You know, it's like you, you, you want to be able to block and avoid being a punching bag. I don't care how tough you are. Anyone can, you know, some punches can knock someone out. And there's always people who's tougher than you. And you don't really, I don't think it's tough when people go through life with all kinds of scars on their body broken bones, scars, gunshot wounds and all the rest of it, missing limb, one eye, whatever, and they're trying to um, prove how tough they are. They've led a life as a warrior, either in gang fights or in prison fights, gang fights, um, any fights um, as a martial artist even, or soldier, police officer, bouncer, I don't care what it is, they're just a tough guy. You, you're lucky to still be alive and your body has been damaged and damaged beyond repair in a lot of um, um, instances. You may feel you're tough, but that's just ego underneath it all. I mean, you know, you'd rather you'd rather go through all that and like no, no arsehole has ever touched you. If you could like avoid all fights in general, that's, that's great. The life's hard, you know, there's a lot of hassle. If you can go through your life and not get sick and you're just healthy, that's, that's a warrior, you know. That's, that's just pretty amazing. You know, if you can avoid getting into any fights and you're in a rough situation, if you're living in a rough environment with danger at every turn, maybe living in prison even, then you know, that's, you're know you either lucky or you're really tactical and very wise. I mean, that's like the ninja, as I've said with the ninja or the ninjas. That's what they were. And the army, same thing. You don't have... When you, when you see an army battle, okay... Let's say you're a small band of soldiers and you're fighting against the predators or, or you're fighting against another army, you know, and you're, and you're sneaking through the forest, you know, like, you all, you look like Rambo, man, you're commandos, but there's a group of people and they're soldiers, you know, and they're walking around in the jungles and they're sneaking up on the enemy. They don't want to come home at the end of the day with 90% of their troops dead, or everybody's got missing limbs, blood pouring out of them, and um, lost, you know what I mean, and shot. That's not, you would rather come back with everybody intact, right, with as little harm done to them as possible, and still got a lot of soldiers, and everybody fight. That's, that's winning, you know. So it's the same with you, you don't want to get yourself damaged, so you want to be invisible to the opponent, he doesn't know you're there. In, even if you are in combat, it's like the ninja, the same with the ninja, they were very stealthy. They tried to sneak back in the ancient day, the ninjas used to sneak, it was all stealth. And today's modern warfare tactics too. And when they go, when you fire a gun, it's not playing, is it? it's not like you go up to someone, tip tap slap boxing, like as soft as, soft as a pussy. When you're going to fight, you're really striking. It's like a gun, a knife, a sword, whatever, it's going to do the damage. You know, it's going to literally win so you want an invincible blow you want an in invisibility so you may call it a cheap shot and all of that but fuck all that ego and pride and people that will disrespect you because you've protected yourself a certain way they can go and fuck themselves that's not your real friends why bow down to them i would rather have peace in my mind live like zen i'm not a monk but i, would, I live like that you know i love like i live in peace in my mind 
I'd rather do drawing, do my own cooking, lay on my own bed and sleep on it. You know, keep health in my body, have a drink of tea when I do, write a story, live, do be creative in, in your life and find your own peace and sanity rather than walking around following a bunch of zombies who are just intoxicated on alcohol, drinking, smoking, chilling on weed because life's too hard, moaning about their addictions, sitting there in not the best of health, dressing a certain way, acting fancy, talking with this today's modern jargon, just addicted to their phone all goddamn day, and um, negative and just thinking about money, money all the fucking time. That's crap, okay? Really is. You want to be free from all that negative bullshit. Reality is, you can find peace in yourself, but you better protect yourself. And if you respect yourself, you won't. You will never give the opponent a chance to fuck up your life and take away what is rightfully yours. And if you're talking about the physical thing, the at your body, you don't want to get harmed. You don't want to put yourself in danger. Are you going to cross the street? Are you going to? Are you going to? Are you going to say you're going to wait for the traffic lights at the traffic at the junction? Um, and you're going to say it's a cheap shot? Are you just are you just going to run out like a maniac, run across the motorway to prove how brave and tough you are? No, you're not going to, you know, take the easy route. Because sometimes you say like, in life, it's not good to take the easy route. You know, you want to challenge yourself. Yeah, challenge yourself and develop yourself. But don't harm yourself. Don't be a fucking idiot. Sometimes it is better to take the more suitable route, the easy route. What's too easy or too hard? What does that mean? Look at the convenience. What is you know? That's like that's like disregarding certain technology, which is actually better for us nowadays. Do you want to walk across the um, the desert with your camel carrying stuff when you could when you have a your own free uh, jet plane here, which can just deliver the stuff across? You know. So let's be real. You know, what's going to get the job done? What's more suitable? We need to be realistic about things. So in fighting, you want to finish the fight quickly. You don't want to attack anybody. Avoid, run away if you can, or just avoid it in, gen in total. So the opponent doesn't even know you're there, and they don't even think about the idea of fighting or being on the attack. Because a lot of these violent assholes, when they want to attack you, the only reason they want to pick on you and act like a big tough bully is because they, they want to seem tough in front of the eyes of everybody. These big bullies and these tough guys who want to try and conquer the world and look big and tough in front of everybody, those people who are talking loud and walking tough and dressing a certain way, those people really are cowards because they're afraid. It's not just a sentence, bullies are cowards. This is reality. They are literally afraid of how the world sees them. Everybody. The whole world is just too much for them. That's why they drink too much and smoke fucking weed all the time to chill out because they want to forget about their stress. Some of these people have got nice cars, nice cars and places to live. They still don't understand. There's always people hard, more worse off than them who have got no food and water. There's always people, there's people in the world that have got cancer who have, or have got serious illnesses, you know, or have been crippled or paralyzed just this moment or just lost their eyesight vision from a stupid accident. There's people in this world doing stupid things, but rather than learn, they decide to be stupid themselves or follow idiots. And rather than protect life, which is what it's really about, martial arts anyway, but rather than protect life, rather than try and build up the people around them, the ones who are quiet or timid or and respect the nice people, they want to look down on peace. They want to look down on righteousness. They want to be the rebel. They want to look down on anything that's just um, soft because they think it's cowardly because they're in so much pain and agony. There may have been people that have put them in this mental state from shit they may have had like growing up, you know, or whatever, the, how their family treated them or whatever it is, from the world that they've lived in, fair enough, but they become a slave to that, and they become the very shit that they're, you know, they let the world dictate, and they're the weakest people of all, and they become negative, it's like, you don't, if you can't beat them, join them sort of thing, that's the kind of attitude they take, and they don't have a second thought about it, they just, they just choose to become negative, violent, hateful, and it is just cooler that way, that's why they join gangs, or join various, you know, whatever it is that makes them feel part of, like, not alone, but it's not, it's okay to be alone, you're, you're still alone anyway, if you're following a bunch of people who would never value you for who you are, for being honest in yourself, 
So the way I see it is you've got to be real and honest to yourself to get anywhere in this world and respect yourself and value yourself. If you are quiet, if you're quiet and you can hear the truth inside, because nobody can lie to themselves, if you understand yourself and you know what you're thinking, you know that truth, right? So you're sane. Just look at the insanity in the world and say, you know, you know, you, how can you fall to become be that level? Why do you need to fight your whole life? to put on a show, that's like you're begging people for respect, like you're not worth anything, doesn't that piss you off even more, fuck that becoming a nasty piece of shit, take that anger or fear, that negative and turn it to something productive, go to the gym, work out, become tough, you know, put your mind into some discipline that's going to make you a more able person, you know, even martial arts training, whatever, or boxing, or weight training, swimming, yoga, god damn get some more sleep if you need to, you know, go for a walk, focus on cooking if you like that, focus on studying something, do some artwork, do something, you can get more and do more in this one life than these motherfuckers, whether they've got money or not, they're never going to be happy, these assholes are going to fall flat on their back without you even hitting them, some of these people, because they're destroying themselves, you want to focus on your health, mentally and physically, and you want to live a healthy, long enough life, and you can always learn and find new things in life too. But the fighting part, if we have to talk about it, because sometimes you might need to, if you have to fight, then yeah, be invisible invisible to the opponent so they can't see you. And if you're in a situation where you have to fight, just like the ninjas where they may have come unstuck sometime back in the day, you're going to need to fight, right? But you're not going to tell the opponent what you're going to do. I'm, I'm going to kick you low, I'm going to hit you high. Why would you do that? Or wait for him to be ready. Like punch the guy and then wait for him to be re- stand back up. No, you're going to make sure you stop the guy now because you may not get a second chance. And for you to think you are, my God. It's so sad that people learn the hard way. And it's so ha- sad that a lot of people who sometimes get a second chance, which is good. But, you know, they people that run across motorways or try and do crazy stunts. And then they have bad accidents, go to hospital and come out and then... They don't learn the lesson, they do it again. And they think they're like some daredevil, they think they're like brave and such an image and they look like an icon. They've got so many views on Facebook or they've got so many young people subscribing to their channel, the videos they're making, jumping across bridges and high buildings and they think it's cool. This is not some movie, you're not gonna be the next Ant-Man, you know, or, or Captain America. This is real life we're talking about here. And there's too many too many people throwing away lives, I feel. No, computer games are great and everything I know, but you know what I mean, there's people in this world just not connected to reality, there's people going around shooting up schools with real guns and they don't realise the real life, you know, what life is. You hear people talking about life, oh my life, my life, or value life, or someone got lost their life the other day, you know, and it's like, but they throw this word around life, they don't really know what life is, they don't value it, you know. I value my life and I'm happy with every day that I've got living because I can always learn more things and I'm the kind of person that can find peace in myself because I've got an understanding of what I mean and what I want and I don't want much more than just peace and the chance to like just create, I love creating, like doing drawing, I love art, I'm not the best artist but I like to draw you know, you know what I mean though, when you like when you're alone for so long or when you're like away, f- when you've got when you're not having that much support from people, you start to learn that, you know, well, you start to value yourself. Because if the only value you can find is in the eyes of others, or, you know, when you're surrounded by those people, when sometimes you're not really the happy either, you become those people. You know, and who are they? And what is this whole situation? You know, before you know it, months and years pass. You know, so... Going back to what I'm saying though, yeah, in a fight though, if you're going to fight, I believe, you know, invisibility and then inv- invincibility. So, two words to remember. Okay. Double I here. Double I. <laughs> double O seven. The double I. Okay. Double I's. Uh, in, invince, uh, invisibility and invincibility. So, invincible strikes and invincible invisibility would be an unseen you know so you don't need to that's the best tactic you know what I mean the tactic there it's like the method of winning basically how to win 
which are not to, so the opponent can't see the strike coming and it goes so fast and it goes in there before he can get his attack on you and, and you're out of the line of fire you, he can't see what's coming you don't know what hit him and what and what actually hit him that's right so you don't see it coming and when it hits is such a proper strike that it's going to win the fight and get it done and and if not then that second one better come in and that first one's going to stun him but you just that's how you do it the opponent can't see what's coming at you it's like it's like he's in the darkness and someone's chucking knives or throwing arrow bows and arrows at him oh arrows you know or shooting him it's like you're being shot shot from a distance it's like even in close range that's what it's like it's like when you're fighting with your close range combat it's like a sniper from far away in the desert or whatever. That's what it is. Some it's far away, the sniper's far away, you can't see the sniper. And that shot when it gets you, you're done. Whether it's in the head or the body, you're done, you're out of it. You're hurt that you're not gonna get up and fight whether you're dead or you're injured. So when you're in close range combat, just like the sniper, okay, you 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 can't see what's coming. And every strike just gets him, if it's fast or from the angle, whatever, you're setting him up, you know, he's setting himself up. And the best way to do it is to be invincible. Invisible, sorry, invisible. If, if the opponent doesn't see you, then that's, that's great. But if he sees you standing in front of him and he knows you're going to fight, then you've got, then you're going to have to deal with this guy because the guy's trying to attack you. Guy or girl, you know, the person's trying to, they're, they're ready, you know. So you need to work around that. So your, if your strategy or your technique is, oh, you have to adapt to the other guy, or you have to work around his strategy, whether there's a strategy in it or not, the guy may be just violent, he may be tougher than you, he may just want to knock your fucking head in. That's going to be hard. It's harder to defend than attack. In karate, they say, in karate, they've always said that there's no first attack in karate, you know. Uh, it's a defensive art thing, but you know, in a way, that's a, that's a, it depends how you take that, because like, it's an attack, is, is, the attack could be the best defense, they say, you know, offense is the best defense, but, um, you know, but you always want to try and, this is martial arts, the principle is avoid fighting, but if you do have to fight, you know, it's like, use it wisely and in the, in the, to preserve, you know, or to, to prevent worse happening, you know, you're fighting for the greater good. So, you know, as long as you stop that fighter, stop that guy from doing worse, that's the thing. So thanks for watching. Thank you for listening to this video. It's like 42 minute long video. Okay, um, really deep stuff there. Real, I could have taken this whole video and, and said this is ninja tactics and that might have confused you. But basically that's what we're talking about, kind of ninja tactics unseen and we're going to go in and we're going to win that's that's what the ninja used to think back in the day the ninjas you know army and SWAT teams and stuff of today same attitude same kind of thing none of this dancing around i don't care what you say flowery um you know martial art traditional or uh, mma the same thing i see that in mma too just people sometimes dancing around it's all ego it's all a big show anyway if you wanted to win in life you wouldn't be in the arena speak does that make sense and you may say well we've been born into life in this society and it's like an arena yes very well fair enough but we should always be fighting for one thing reality truth nature and being back going back towards being, being a normal human being i would like to be a human being living rather than just a machine just surviving for as long as they'll fucking use you you know who's um Generation after generation of, of violence is getting us nowhere, you know. Thanks for watching. Train hard and stay safe. Thank you always for watching, okay? Share your views. I'd love to hear your thoughts on some of this stuff, okay? It's not about me being right or wrong. I've got no opinion over anyone. It's just, I've just got my own thoughts on things, right? Whatever you think is, is going to be right for you, you'll know. Peace and health comes to the, all people in different ways and it depends how you work it and develop it. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Take care and be safe always. Avoid danger always and don't create it.